Chapter 8 We Report, You Decide Yes, there will be test questions for this chapter. Ten true or false sample test questions follow. The correct answer to these ten questions will be found in the current chapter material. It is suggested pausing the audio to read these sample test questions. Continue the audio after completing your review. Distractions Title 21 Motor Vehicles Operation and Equipment Chapter 41 Rules of the Road Section 4176 Careless or Inattentive Driving A. Whoever operates a vehicle in a careless or imprudent manner or without due regard for road, weather, and traffic conditions then existing shall be guilty of careless driving. B. Whoever operates a vehicle and fails to give full time and attention to the operation of the vehicle or whoever fails to maintain a proper lookout while operating the vehicle shall be guilty of inattentive driving. C. Whoever violates this section shall, for the first offense, be fined not less than $25 nor more than $115. For each subsequent like offense occurring within three years of a former offense, the person shall be fined not less than $50 nor more than $230 or imprisoned not less than 10 nor more than 30 days or both. Important. As you proceed through the distraction portion of the course, Please keep in mind there is little if any difference between distractions and inattentive driving. Best case scenario. Please realize it is the police officer who will make the decision whether your distraction is in fact inattentive driving. Worst case scenario. Any of the distractions below can lead to becoming a roadway statistic. We report, you decide, distractions, roadside billboards. Roadside billboards cost considerable money for those who choose this form of advertisement. Therefore, the goal of the advertiser is to distract motorists as they navigate through traffic on a daily basis. Let us examine a billboard that appeared on the Delaware roadway system and see if you believe it can be effective in distracting Delaware motorists. No question, picture 8-2 above is a winner. It is an A-plus for distraction. FYI, in case you didn't notice the finger pointing skyward is the ring finger, but it will definitely cause a motorist to take a second look. We report, you decide. Question. Are the following pictures of several roadside billboards an example of your taxpayer's money being used to fund billboard distractions? Is the billboard distraction in the pictures above worth your taxpayer's money? We report, you decide. Distractions. Cell phones. Question. Does the limiting of cell phone use to hands-free lessen cell phone distraction while operating a motor vehicle? Answer. The D-Team suggests the answer is yes. Hands-free is safer, but not for the reason most would suspect. There has been many studies that identify communicating on a hands-free phone is no less of a distraction than using a handheld cell phone. It is the attention to the conversation that is the distractions. In fact, hands-free generally requires distractions such as hand dialing. However, hands-free would make a major distraction such as text messaging illegal, a safety factor which cannot be ignored. We report, you decide. Please check our website for any changes in the cell phone law and our other traffic laws at dedriving.com. Alert, alert, alert. The State of Delaware New Cell Phone Law Delaware Cell Phone Laws Legislation Last updated July 6, 2010 Distracted Driving Update Delaware has adopted a ban on text messaging and use of handheld cell phones while driving. Fines range from $50 to $200. Governor Jack Markell signed the bill July 6. The new distracted driving rules for Delaware drivers take effect January 3rd, 2011. 2010 Legislation House Substitute 1 for HB 229 Bans text messaging while driving, handheld cell phone use, and internet activities. Primary Enforcement 
fines $50 for the first offense, $100 and $200. Cleared the House Public Safety Committee on March 17th, approved by the full House on May 13th in a 33 to 5 vote, approved by the Senate on June 15th by a 18 to 3 vote, approved again by the House and finalized on June 22nd in a 34 to 6 vote. Last action signed by Governor Jack Markell on July 6th. Enforcement begins January 3rd, 2010. HB 298 would prohibit the use of handheld cell phones by a driver while the vehicle is in motion. Fines $50 and $100. 2010 Legislation Notes Several amendments were added to House Substitute 1 for HB 229 before it was approved May 13th in the House. One allows drivers to use their hands to enter numbers for a phone call or to engage hands-free accessories. The other exempts farm tractors and trucks from the ban on handheld electronics. Delaware State Police report that cell phones were a factor in 252 traffic accidents in 2008. We report you decide. Distractions. Eating and drinking. 1. Meatball sandwich. 2. Taco. 3. Pizza. 4. Hamburger, cheeseburger, especially with condiments. 5. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. 6. If it will drip and our squirt. 7. Etc. It is called risk reward. Satisfying hunger can be rewarding, but is it worth the risk when operating a motor vehicle? We report and you decide. Distractions. Technology. There is no question technology is doing great things to advance vehicle safety. Below is just a sampling of the new innovations in the area of auto safety. 1. Lane Departure Warning System Computer-operated alert system warns drivers when drifting out of their lane. 2. Bluetooth connectivity provides motorists a computerized, hand-free solution to talking on the phone while driving. 3. Side curtain airbags. Head protecting airbags that deploy from the ceiling and inflate next to the driver's side windows when the vehicle is hit from the side. 4. Tire pressure monitoring warns drivers when a low tire or blowout is detected. 5. Collision mitigating braking. Radar that automatically applies the brakes when sensing a crash is imminent. 6. Electronic Stability Control, a system that applies brakes to individual wheels of a vehicle when instability is detected. 7. Hill Start Assist. On a hill, when the driver's foot moves from the brake to the gas pedal, the Hill Start Assist maintains the brake system pressure for up to 1.5 seconds before releasing the pressure smoothly as the car accelerates. 8. Soft Stop Assist recognizes that the vehicle is coming to a halt and reduces the brake pressure at the rear wheels just before it stops, allowing the vehicle to stop smoothly. However, there is the rest of the story. Technology has and will continue to play a strong role in distracting the operator of a motor vehicle. Audio and video technology has advanced to the point where live TV shows can be viewed in a moving motor vehicle. Supposedly, live TV can be viewed in the front seat only when the vehicle is in park. We report, you decide. Distractions. Blind spot. Yes, it is true. Checking your blind spot while operating a motor vehicle is a distraction. Smart Defense by the D-Team is an advocate of checking one's blind spot prior to moving into another traffic lane. The D-Team is also aware of the potential to ignore Smart Defense and end up not being a leader. Adequate front space, as discussed in Chapter 4 when turning your head to check a blind spot. Caution. A deceleration, perhaps even a rapid deceleration by the vehicle you are following may not leave you enough time to prevent the collision if you failed at being a leader. Adequate front space. We report, you decide. Distractions. The number one distraction. Unfortunately, the number one distraction has been with us since the first motor vehicle made its maiden voyage. This number one distraction is another living being in the vehicle besides the driver. Child, husband, wife, or even a dog, picture 8-8 below, or cat all fall into that category. 
they all have the potential to create a major and sometimes dangerous distraction. One split-second distraction can bring the ultimate penalty. Please use smart defense to improve your odds of returning home safely. Important. A vehicle that includes a Great Dane as a passenger, in picture 8-8 above, tends to be a deterrent for a carjacker. We report, you decide. Railroad crossings. Question. When is a tie a guaranteed loss? See picture 8-9 below. The law. Title 21, Motor Vehicles, Operation and Equipment, Chapter 41, Rules of the Road. Subchapter 7, Special Stops Required. Section 4161. Obedience to a signal indicating approach of a train, drawbridge, or automatic signal system controlling the flow of traffic. A. Whenever any person driving a vehicle approaches a railroad grade crossing, drawbridge, or automatic signal system controlling the flow of traffic under any of the circumstances stated in the section, the driver of such vehicle shall stop within 50 feet but not less than 15 feet from the nearest rail of such railroad and shall not proceed until the driver can do so safely. Evidently the stop line in picture 8-10 below is a minimum of 15 feet from the nearest rail. So according to Delaware law, the legal stopping point would be at the stop line. Question. If the overhead lights are flashing red and it is a slow moving train, can it be legal to cross the track after stopping? Answer. Yes and shall not proceed until the driver can safely do so. We report you decide. Immediately below you will find some suggestions from the Delaware Driver's Manual, pages 65 and 66. Rail Intersection Signs and Signals 1. Railroad crossings have signs or signals to warn drivers. 2. Never try to beat a train across the tracks. Three. Never start to cross if there is not room for your vehicle on the far side or if you will have to stop on the tracks. 4. Do not block the crossing. Wait until there is room for your vehicle on the far side. 5. It is wise not to shift gears when crossing railroad tracks just in case you might stall. 6. It would also be wise to review stalled on railroad tracks under emergencies in Section 5. 7. Remember that trains are large and may be moving faster than they look. 8. Many highway rail intersections have roadway surface or pavement markings in advance of the crossing. These markings usually include an X symbol with the letters RR and a stop bar. 9. A white X-shaped sign or crossbuck with railroad crossing on it is located at the railroad crossing. This sign has the same meaning as a yield sign. You must yield to crossing trains. 10. At some crossings, along with the crossbuck sign, you will see side-by-side -side lights that will flash when a train is approaching. When the lights are flashing, you must stop. 11. At some crossing, there is also a crossing gate that will lower when a train is coming. Do not drive around the gate. 12. Some crossings also have a bell that will sound. Do not cross until the bell has stopped. 13. Crossings with more than one train track often will post a sign that shows the number of tracks. These signs warn you that there is more than one track and there may be more than one train crossing. 14. If you come to a railroad crossing without a number of tracks sign, it is important that you always check if there is more than one track before crossing. We report, you decide. Country Driving Country driving, a favorite of the force. Question. What types of lines, straight or curved, make the bend in the road identified by the sign? Picture 8-12 below. Answer. Straight lines. But the road curves is generally what is said to challenge the straight line answer. The D team responds. It is basic geometry. All turns and or bends in the road are made up of straight lines, some of which can be as small as a pinhead. Angles are then used to connect the straight lines and the illusion of a curved single line appears. 
picture 8-13 below. Now it should be clear to you why country driving is a favorite of the force. Country driving can be loaded with angles or curves, causing a motorist to make untold number of adjustments with the steering wheel. Add speed into the mix with hills, picture 8-14 below, reduce traction, rain, sleet, snow, or wet leaves, and a motorist increases their odds of falling under the power of the force, speed, angles, and traction. He or she will end up going straight on a curved country road. Maintain a safe speed by adjusting to all of the angles in the road. Be aware of the changes in traction and you can enjoy motoring on country roads. It is called neutralizing the power of the force. Something the driver of the yellow race car, black and yellow arrow, in picture 8-15 below, failed to accomplish. It is obvious this driver is now under the power of the force. Next stop, the wall. Smart defense. It can be the gift of life. Don't roll snake eyes. Delaware by the numbers. Facts about first date. We report, you decide. Driving accidents. Top 10 driving accident causes where a reason was determined from 2005 through 2012. Inattention, distraction, fatigue, 30,932. Following too close, 13,377. Driving in a careless manner, 11,174. Fail to yield right of way, 11,014. Driver under the influence, 6,032. Animal in roadway, deer, 5,495. Improper lane change, 5,136. Improper backing, 4,613. Disregard traffic signal, 4,167. Weather, 2,689. We report, you decide. Quiz time. Read and count the number of times the letter F appears on the card, picture 8-17 below. Write your answer on a piece of paper. The answer will be discussed in Chapter 9. SOS. You can drive smart or you can drive stupid.